So I'll give you a couple reasons why body count matters. The first is STDs. If someone slept with a lot of people, they're more likely to have an STD, be it incurable or curable. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's a particularly controversial take for people to not want to get an STD. Mm -hmm. So if you've had a lot of sexual partners, you could have an STD. Um, if you're promiscuous, you could have an F STD. If you just hooked up, if you're hooking up with a bunch of people, you could have an STD, so there's that. Um, I mean, does anyone here want to get an STD? No. no. I don't think <laughs> what question is that? <laughs> but when we talk about like body count, like having multiple people, what if somebody's been in like singular relationships? Some people are with born a, with like, STDs. With a lot of people, so not necessarily like hooking up every single, not necessarily like hooking up with somebody, like or randoms and all of that, but like having singular little things or relationships not multiple people at a time or every day of the week or whatever it may be i have a question though my mom is a nurse mm -hmm. she and she delivers babies she had a couple come in and this is why i say some people are born with stds she had a couple come in who obviously both had one their baby was delivered with one yeah. what what percentage yeah. of people would you say were it's not born common. with an std it's not common but if it happens it's not that child's fault. So their body count throughout the years. Well, I still wouldn't know? want to sleep with yeah, them. Yeah, obviously not. But I it's understand like that. Some people, it's like it, they couldn't help. That's what I'm trying to get out. It's like just because you sleep with a lot of people or if you have an STD doesn't mean you sleep with a lot of people. What do you mean? Well, I mean, it. we have to think exceptions don't make the rule. Yeah. So, yeah, you the very first time you have sex... You could get herpes. Yeah, sure. Exactly. Just like you could get yeah, pregnant the very first time. Sure, you have sex. but I think that's an outlier case. Mm -hmm. I think that's an outlier situation. So, the fact of the matter is, if you sleep with a hundred people versus you sleep with one person, two people, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you're at a higher risk of getting mm -hmm. an STD. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. So, that's a reason why. I think th that's a reason why I think both men and women should value a partner who's not promiscuous, but they those days are gone. But people tested. have their past and depends on Pe the type of person. Their past includes herpes and HIV. Okay. As long as you're <laughs> clean though, like you stay clean, you get tested, yeah. you're safe about it. Mm. That's different. Cause I do have friends where she's been with her partner and he, like with her partner and he, you know, was being shady and gave her an STD without telling her. And she found out, because she was with her next partner and Oof. she gave it to him, you know? So it looks shady, but that's why I'm like, it doesn't matter as long as you are, you get tested, you're clean, you're safe. You know what you're up to. Yeah, you, <laughs> you know what you're doing, so be safe about it. Mm -hmm. It's not hard to be safe. Well, you mentioned like get tested, but I mean, you said you're, I don't, I don't mean to bring this up in this sort of way, but of these sexual encounters you've had, have you been tested before every single one? Yeah, I get tested. I'm very sick about it. Every single, the, before you have sex with a person for the first time, every single time, both of it's you get tested. It's protection or tested. Okay. Well, I'm it's plausible. I'm very, very safe about what I Yeah, but it's I plausible do. you could still get an STD even with a condom. Yeah. And, I mean, there's also... And with the partner, too. Yeah, I mean, and then there's even afterwards, like, some people are asymptomatic. Yeah. I had, uh, one, like, one of my friends, his girlfriend went out of town, and she was being shady and gave it to him. And, you know, females don't realize that they have an STD until much... Like, female symptoms come up later than male symptoms, I've learned. So the males can tell if they get their symptoms a lot quicker by whatever than we do. So he's the one that found out, you know? So it's just, it's, yeah, you just got to be safe. I'll give you guys another reason. Here we go. Another reason. Uh, so it's evolutionary hardwiring it's biological um so comes down to paternity so a woman who's promiscuous who sleeps with a lot of men you cannot guarantee paternity if she gets pregnant for example and so this is like a, a evolutionary thing in men if she sleeps with a lot of men she slept with other men and you know most of the time like back i guess back in the day <laughs> This is going to sound very unscientific, but like when people first got together with a partner, 
you know, there there wasn't condoms and birth control and so you think she's gonna try 50, to put it on years you. ago huh you think that if she gets pregnant and it's uncertain who the dad is she might put it on one person specifically that well there's still there's, do that or females still do that people, no i'm not saying back then i'm just saying in general like now and then i don't know well this is more so like throughout evolution mm -hmm. throughout hundreds of thousands of years of yeah. human evolution in the past 40 years you know we've figured out dna yeah. we can do paternity tests but still, that doesn't undo mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of years of evolution and hardwiring. So men are hardwired to be repulsed by promiscuous women. And there, there's also intellectual reasons, too, for why, why men dislike women who have a promiscuous past, who are promiscuous, who have a high body count. Mm -hmm. And so that hardwiring, though, like you could not guarantee who the child is, yeah. who the child belongs to, who the father is. As a woman, you get pregnant, you know the kid's yours. As a man, you might not know. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's another reason why a woman who's promiscuous, she's a bad bet for paternity. Okay. They don't like that one. Okay. Um, I mean, I could, I, I, that's, that's a that. fair one. It that does is make a fair sense, one. and it comes down to trusting your partner and being loyal with your partner, but I do understand what you're saying, and I agree with that. I feel like I see both sides. In, in the same everything. way, like, so speaking on evolution hardwiring biology in the same way that most women want a man who's physically larger than them be it height or size mm -hmm. it comes down to a protection thing mm -hmm. so and you know evolutionarily speaking and i think one of the reasons why women find guys who who are tall attractive mm -hmm. i mean if you ask someone to intellectually articulate why is it that you want and not all women want a guy who's taller than them I'd say if you line up 100 women, <laughs> most of them are going to say, I yeah. would like a guy who's at least my height or taller. Um, it comes down to protection. A guy who's bigger is more capable of protecting you. Mm -hmm. And word. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. But, uh, do the little Windows thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to do this for myself. Uh, so there's evolutionary reasons. Um, yeah. So it's like yeah. the point we're trying to get across that body count should matter or it matters to men, like, men. Or men right which i'm which i hear that part it's not okay like i understand what you're the point you're making is that it's a standard for men obviously the topic of tonight and it's not a bad standard that's why like i hear what you're saying it's not a bad standard to have like if that's your standard that's your standard if a guy said he didn't like me because of my body count by all means that's okay i'm not gonna be mad at him but i just think it comes down to the point we're trying to make is that nobody really knows body count for sure so why does something that you can't prove or really like that's true come all the way down into detail and like track down matter i mean somebody could certainly your partner could lie about it mm -hmm. it could come up the guy could be curious um, right so i think it's the number that's scary because like she's saying people lie if i were to tell you i have 100 bodies you'd be like nope if i tell you i have two you'd be like okay let's go for it as they do yeah, they lie. Everybody lies about certain people things. lie about a lot of things. Yeah. Exactly, a lot of things. Uh, and then, I mean, my other take is is that I, I don't know. To me, it's just if I'm talking to a girl and I'm interested in pursuing her, and I know that she fucked a guy last night. Oh God. I don't know. I'm gonna feel a certain type of way uh, yeah, about. Like, I'm just fair. gonna be kind of like. Is fair. She guy last night yeah. then i'm on a date with her whatever like granted even if we're not you know it's our first date i'm we're not in a relationship i'm gonna look at concerned. that and be like uh, yeah uh, yeah you're gonna have a concern there's That's probably reasonable. by the way there's probably no way i'm gonna ever know that most girls wouldn't most girls are not gonna be like by the way i fucked a guy last night <laughs> by the way i just came from a hotel but like <laughs> so let's have dinner i'll but pay the, <laughs> <laughs> the dating meta is as as it is you have to assume like people are on dating apps, social media, people are very promiscuous, both, both men and women. By the way, I just want to make something clear. Uh, if a woman had a preference for a guy who had a low body count, I think that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of women care as much as men, but if a woman had that standard too, I'm, I'd be all for it. If a girl said, I don't want a guy that's fucked 100 women, to me, that's not shocking. I think it's safe to say personally that and this might sound wrong, a girl is already going to assume that a guy's body count is higher. Yes, especially if he's attractive. 
if he's attractive as she's well. gonna assume that it's or higher sport, or if he spits games especially <laughs> like sports. a girl like, if well, i am talking to yeah. a guy i'm automatically in my head whether he has a body count of two or 50 i'm going to assume it's gonna be closer to the higher side than two and if he does have one lower on the lower side that's great but i'm going to assume and you know expect the worst hope for the best right. a, which is so unfair for us to do but i feel like everyone's so quick to judge you know like i'm also like i'm a church girl i go to church a lot of my football boys go to church and i know like some people <laughs> who go to church and like absolutely like saving themselves from marriage and then there's some people like you know it's just it's yeah it's just really it's hard to like tell you can't I think judge we accept a book by it its before cover. yeah we accept it before it comes out to hurt our feelings we're just like yeah. we just <laughs> to like, hurt okay, our feelings cool. we're like okay whatever 